Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a beautiful week. Um, I am back a little early because I finally went to the boutique and bought me a waist trainer. Um, so I was gonna try to find a Faha that had the waist trainer on it, but I've been reading a lot of people been saying tummy tucks don't really need the Fajas. It's really for BBL. So I can really switch into a waist trainer if I want. So my plan is for the next 30 days, um, I plan on wearing the Faha and my waist trainer over it. I know it's gonna be annoying, but I, you know, I'm a little skeptical of not wearing my Faha, okay? So this is the waist trainer that I got. It is called Squeam. What well, the brand is Squeam. Um, I have had three waist trainers with them. Um, before Tummy Tuck, I was wearing a waist trainer just to kind of like mold me and I guess kind of like solidify me or like loosen the fat, I guess, because it kind of pulls you in and kind of like make, I'm hoping, I was hoping it made the fat a little more malleable because the goal when you're getting a tummy tuck is trying to make sure your fats are broke down as much as possible. You know what I mean? So the more jiggly it is, the better because that means that's more that that doctor can get versus solid fat. It's harder to get that look that you want. So I was wearing a waist trainer before. Um, I started at a medium, like really squeezing in it. Then I went to a small and now this is an extra small, which I kind of felt like I can lose a little, but it only had one other like little bracket after the one that I'm currently on. So I'm gonna be buying another one probably in a month. So it's like, this is about $85. Um, like I said, I go to a little boutique here in Ocala. She ordered them or she have them in stock. Um, and this is what I want. So I'm gonna show you, gonna demonstrate me put on my stuff off. So over time, you'll kind of know like what I'm doing, if it's working, if it's not, you know. I usually don't get the ones with the strap. I say, hey, why not this time? You know, so eventually when I'm out of it, I still have the strap. Why not? We'll try it. So. I usually adjust my straps after. <laughs> after is all down. And this is a lot easier to do if you're laying down. <laughs> I just want to point that out. But I have some experience with it. Pull it up to where I want it. So I don't want to make sure it's like right up under this little piece between my boots where it's a little, you could tell lipo wasn't there, but no biggie. Don't finish connecting them. Then I'm gonna adjust my straps. I don't like mine falling off of me. I like mine kind of snug. Everyone's a little different. <sighs> Probably I really don't need my faha to be honest. Okay, okay. So this is it. This is me. With my waist trainer, I, I love this waist trainer, y'all. I really do. I think it's good. It got me all cinched. Another thing, another little update off topic. I have been sleeping on the opposite side. Previous video, I told you that I felt like one of my hips was bigger than the other. I think it was this one. This one was flatter than this one, but I have been making myself sleep on this side for the past four days and I feel like it's evening out a little bit. 
So, I guess I'm going to have to start sleeping on my back. Or stomach. Or, y'all, I'm going to be trying to sleep on my stomach for real, for real. Like, feeling like the devil going to ride me or something. So, I am a big on my side person. But I don't know if it's because I just had surgery and maybe them moving and shifting stuff is why my hips are doing. I don't know. But I do want my little hips now. Ain't got much back there, but you know, do want my little hips, but this is the update on my new waist trainer. And um, it's really snug. So I'll let y'all know next week whether or not I actually did wear it with the Faha or not. Um my process, how it went with the Faha, and I actually made it. Okay, so we will see. Um, and y'all have a great weekend. Don't have too much fun. And for those who are having their surgeries, um, their upcoming surgeries, um, I want to wish y'all a good luck. Um, and I will say a prayer for y'all, okay? Peace out.